have a Siani uh, expert group on African biochar. My name is Cecilia Sunme. I'm an associate professor at KTH, the Royal Institute of Technology. And I've been working at SLU for many, many years until recently. And here is biochar. It's organic matter that has been heated to become char so that there is solid black organic carbon. And this can be produced like here from agricultural residues and it can be put back into the soil and in some circumstances have amazing effects on soils and plant growth. Um, and this is uh, produced by heating with limited oxygen so that it doesn't become ash. And this can be done uh, with using various different technologies. So this has come high on the agenda because putting charcoal into soil can improve soil fertility, but it also sequesters carbon. And now I don't get the rest of my picture. We'll see. Here it comes. Great. Uh, this means less climate impact and poverty reduction. And our question is, can this be not just a great theory of how to improve climate and food security, but actually be turned into practice? And there is evidence, research evidence, that under some, some circumstances can this work, but there are lots of remaining research questions that lots of researchers are working on. And the, the research and knowledge basis is growing very, very fast. Um, but there's a need to spend our time on the right research questions. So this is from the research project that I'm involved in personally in Kenya, where we're looking at smallholder farming systems. And we've seen so far that Using this technology, we can save fuels. Uh, we can uh, use a new cook stove that uh, produces less smoke and faster cooking and uh, produces biochar. And we're going to look further into this issue. Will people want to use this as a fuel, I, which is a technology that they are very well aware of? or are there circumstances where it's actually beneficial enough for soils to improve it so that people will cho chose that. So we wanted to have a network because there are various different uh, researchers uh, in Africa, people like me quite coming there from abroad for a research project and also people based in Africa working there. Not just researchers, but also NGOs and companies. And what we want to do in our network is to coordinate, communicate, build capacity of research and development on pyrolysis, the pr process, and on the biochar for optimized biomass use and for improved resource management, energy efficiency, and soil fertility in Africa. And the mission then is to create a platform for research for development in Africa to generate gender-responsive, evidence-based and applicable knowledge and to support farmers and practitioners. And in order to be su sustainable, we need to have biomass available, uh, conversion technology of some kind. This can be very large scale or various scale from, from the power plant to, to cook stove and then using it in soil, improving the biomass growth. And um, from an academic point of view, we need to have lots of different expertise involved in order to understand the whole system. We need experts on each piece, from engineers on the cook stoves to soil scientists, but also people who can analyze the whole system because there is the key uh, to getting it to actually function. And when we look at um, biochar from the perspective of the society, we see that it's related to many, many different sectors, energy, agriculture, climate change, waste management, forest management. So there is a communication challenge there. Um, 
Our short-term ob objectives with the network are to consolidate and expand the network, to identify, compile, disseminate expert knowledge. We also need to secure further funding for the network so that this can be something to support the development of the arena in the future. And I'll be happy to talk to you more about this later this afternoon. Thank you. Uh, does anyone have any immediate questions about this? I'm, I'm always interested in the part where you get the biochar into the soil. How, how do you do that? How we do that technically? Yeah, oh well, yeah, how does the farmer use it? Yeah, I haven't seen any large scale applications actually. We're working in very small scale field, working it in by hand so far but we're interested in application technologies, but we're, we're working more at this, yeah. For yeah, we need, sorry, we need, no, no, no. We're recording this, so we have to have a Where are Perhaps this is a question we have to come back to afterwards, and, but this is a question from a stupid social scientist. Uh, what is the difference between what you are working on and the traditional way of producing charcoal, both in the shifting cultivation system and the way charcoal is being produced for as a, as a local rural energy and also in, in, in towns? So traditional charcoal uh, production has, from a socio-economic point of view, is efficient in terms of man hours and so on. But from an environmental point of view, it's really losing a lot of energy and producing emissions. So it's a technology that we need to find alternatives to better use biomass. And we don't want to promote or develop biochar systems that use traditional biochar technology. The other issue is that biochar traditionally is used as a fuel, whereas what we are exploring here is the use as a soil amendment and within uh, food production particularly. Uh, actually, I think it is very important to make a distinction between traditional charcoal made from wood because that has a high financial value. And when people started to talk about biochar as a soil improver, I got horrified. I thought a bag of 50 kilos is sold at $12 per bag in the cities. And if you shall get a ton down into the soil as soil improvers, it costs about five times more than mineral fertilizers. So, I mean, it's exactly the right thing you are doing, using uh, low-value uh, agricultural rest products uh, to char them and, and do, do it like that. And I think it is important to make that distinction. You are not intending to dig down charcoal in, in the soil. But the, yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to know whether uh, the biochar that you're working with is different from uh, briquettes or it's just a difference in terms, but they're, they're the same thing. Thank you. Briquettes is a technical term for biomass that has been compacted together and biochar can be used to produce briquettes, but briquettes is a technical term for, for compressed biomass or charcoal. Um, and just to comment to you, your price, the, the high price of charcoal in urban areas, um, it's due very much to transport and middlemen, it's not quite the same value in the countryside, but you're quite right that it is a commercial product and it's difficult to compete with it in economic terms when you want to use it in agriculture. Thank you.